this dress. I think you look hot. <laughs> it pushes in your breasts too much. That's the point, Andy. I'm trying to show some cleavage so I can look good for the casting director. I do not recommend that dress, as it makes you look 32.1% larger in all areas of your body. And by wearing that dress all day, you are 89.4% more likely to develop deformed breasts by the age of 51 years old. Okay, I'll go change then. Is that true, Andy? Oh, you don't need to be concerned, Maggie. You have tiny breasts, barely A cups. After childbirth, they will no longer be present. That is, if you find a mate. There is a 93.6% chance that you will not. <gasps> okay, what do you both think of this dress? Please tell me what role you are auditioning for so that I may more fully analyze your choice. Well, I'm auditioning for the role of a beautiful southern belle named Rose. <laughs> She's sweet and innocent and engaged to this wealthy southern gentleman. I am this part! <laughs> then I would just stay home and do laundry. I beg your pardon? By my analysis, you have a zero chance of getting this role. The name Rose was originally a Norman form of a Germanic name. From an early date, it was associated with the fragrant flower Rose, derived from the Latin Rosa. You, Jessica, have halitosis, so the casting director will neither imagine nor associate you to ever bear the name Rose. Your breath smells of defecation, not petals. Also, you are not beautiful, nor sweet, or innocent. In fact, you are bossy, ordinary looking. And as your friend Maggie says when you are not listening, you are a slut. Maggie! You are such a dick, Andy! 100%.